Well, hello everyone, Texie88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm looking at the 1987 game Nebulous by Hewson for the Spectrum. Now this was um, this was uh, something akin to a request by YouTuber FC Dinha and uh, at the time that he suggested it we were watching YouTuber Zypho play uh, along to the Amstrad CPC version of the of the game on one of his live streams in early November 2020 and after mid I did quite like the the way that the uh, that the tower rotated as you walked around it now you get that kind of effect a lot in uh, in modern gaming, but for a game dating back to 1987, seeing something um, rotating uh, the way this tower does in uh, on such uh, on an 8-bit machine must have been quite a revelation and quite jarring. Now, according to what I've read in the instructions, I have to ascend the tower within the allotted time limit um, via various ledges and tunnels and and lifts and some and that some ledges dissolve when you stand on them they're slippery ledges which push me left or right oh dear that's going to be interesting then now this is a 48k spectrum version even though it came out in 1987 to the best of my knowledge there was never a 128k version so this is actually 48k beeper that you're hearing now Right. So there's my submarine, out comes my character. And I can't move for some reason. Oh god. What? Oh god. So there's one of those dissolving platforms. I'm not sure what to make of that. It it, it seems to dissolve very quickly. Oh god. I get a feeling I don't want to touch that. That looks like one of those jack um, jack things with the mini balls that you play on a tabletop. Not another one. So that's one of the lifts. No. Oh god, no, yeah, that's close. I'll go home. Oh god. Why is it the fire sometimes jumps and sometimes fires? So I'm going to, need to go in there because otherwise I'll land on that dissolving block. I have to admit, I, I'm, I don't, I don't really feel comfortable about the fact they put a dissolving block that close to the start of the very first level. I mean, talk about beginner's trap. Okay, so even when I shoot those, I can't touch them. And it's not helped by the fact that uh, the. That there seems to be no rhyme nor reason as to whether or not the fire button jumps and then... Oh, see, instead of firing that time, it jumped. Right, I've got, I've got, I'm, I'm going to try something. I think I've figured out what happens. So if you're not moving, then, then fire button fires. If you are moving, then it jumps. Okay, got it. Oh, God. Okay, I can't shoot those. Oh, goodness me. God, this is quite a this is quite a tough game. I mean, understandably, it had to be in monochrome because of the way the uh, sort of pseudo three D effect of the tunnels handled the the uh, attribute clash would have been on. Oh God, alive! Uh... At the moment, I'm trying to decide whether one of these, this is going to be one of those games that, oh gosh, shouldn't have done that, should I? It was going to, oh, 
you really need to know when to go through things uh, doors like that because otherwise uh, you'll just walk quite literally right into the path of one of those jack things whatever the hell they are now i'm going to wait for that thing now and go through when it's a bit closer i'll sod off i uh... Let's try again. I mean, I want to like this because of the, um, no, because that, if, if only because of that, for its time, very impressive uh, um, rotation effect. I don't think I want to go that way. Right, I can shoot those ones. Nope. Oh god, I've got to keep going up there because otherwise I'll slide back down. Is one of those jack things going to come? Actually, I better not dawdle up because there's a time limit. No! Don't move if you wish to actually fire. Um... I think I'm getting a hang of which... Oh, no! Bastard. Oh, for God's sake! I can't help feeling that those dissolving... No! No. Back through. I can't help feeling that those uh, dissolving platforms dissolve a little bit too fast. I mean, you, you barely get, any, you don't get any time to react to their di dissolution. Oh God! Can I get through this? Oh God, go away. Ah, oh, he did it. Took several attempts, but got there in the end. Back in my trusty submarine. We all live in a yellow sub. Sorry. Oh, goodness me. Can I shoot those? No, I can't, is the answer. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Right, now to wait for that jack thing. That really does look like one of those jacks from that uh, that uh, tabletop game I mentioned. No, God. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It was blooming waiting for me. Oh, I've gone to the high school table this time. Let's try another go. A bit ticked off I have to do this all again though. Oh yeah, I do like that uh, that uh, the 3D style rotation effect. It's silky smooth. Right. Wait for our friend Jack to get a bit closer to me so he doesn't wipe me out the moment I exit that other door. I'm not going that way. I don't know what will happen if I do. Oh god, that was close. I've got to try and remember which of those platforms disappeared the moment I stepped on them. Oh, I can actually fire around the corners. Oh, those ones are okay. I remember. Oh, you dinkler. 
Well, at least I didn't fall all the way to the bottom that time. No! Oh, get up! God, bloody hell. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you dinkler. No! I remembered and then I completely forgot again that that particular platform disappears. The main sprite's really well animated. And despite the monochrome, I can still clearly see what's happening. Oh, no! I pressed the wrong button. I'm not... Oh... Oh, that's good. After a while, it comes back down. I'm running out of time. No. Damn it, I can't change the direction of the lift once it started ascending. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to run out of time. I've got less than 100 time units left, and it's counting down pretty quickly. I'm not massively keen on the uh, keyboard controls that they have picked. I mean, I've got, I've got the left and right controls being done with my left hand, and I, I don't really like that. No, no, no. Oh, that's all right. Oh no, no, I'm not going to make it. The time's going to run out. Oh, well, I'm not going to make it anyway. The time's going to run out. Lost a life there. Oh, right back to the bloody start. Oh, God, no. Oh. This game is incredibly frustrating. Oh no. Oh, blimmin' hell. Right, so that's nebulous for the spectrum. I guess it's a platform puzzle. I guess that's how, the kind of genre it's going for. And it's, it's execution is pretty good, but I, I can't help feeling that it's let down by some somewhat unfair gimmicks that um, that make the game come across as more spiteful than challenging. I mean, graphics are, are really nice. Monochrome, obviously, due to the Spectrum's attribute limitations, uh, something which Spectrum users would have been used to even at that point. Um, uh, so, and... Actually, I'm... Want. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start again so I don't have to talk over that music. So as the graphics are nice, the way the 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 way that the tower rotates is beautifully um, done and it's, it's silky smooth. Um, the and everything's nice and clear despite being in monochrome. There was never a point where I couldn't see what was going on. So, from that point of view, the game is designed really nicely. And uh, sound effects are, are quite nice, for, especially for the limitations of the 48k spectrum. That's a, that's a nice sound effect when you land in the drink. Um, Gameplay. Well, one thing that doesn't help is that the, that, uh, the controls, the keyboard controls in this, are actually, I, I'm not that keen on them. I, I, I just don't like play, playing a, a keyboard control game with my left hand doing um, left and right, or my, or my right hand doing up and down. I, I, ju I just don't, I just don't like it. And I'd much preferred it if it could have uh, switched to, uh, to something which allows me to. Which allows me to use uh, keys on the right hand side for because it, it just feels more natural to me to have left and right with control and fire control with my right hand, whereas 
the way this is laid out, I, I just can't. I just find it really awkward. Maybe the way they laid out is better suited to left-handed people than I'm right-handed, but I, I just, I just struggled with it a little. I wish I could have altered. They could have had an alternate uh, way of doing it. The, uh, the other, problem. the other problem that I have, as I said, the game comes across as being more spiteful uh, than anything at times. I'm, I mean, if you go through through a door and then just suddenly an enemy appears on screen, you just gotta hope and pray that it's not in front of the other door by the time you exit it. Because if if it's very close to the door, and you're not gonna have time to go back through the door to avoid it, and you can't shoot a lot of the enemies in this game, which is it just makes it just makes the game more frustrating than it needs to be, especially when you've got those. Uh, those dissolving platforms which dissolve rather too quickly. I'd, I'd have preferred it if they dissolved more gradually like it, like in say Manic Mine or other platform games where, the, where you get um, disappearing platforms. I mean in, the, in, in, that, in one, games like that the, they actually dissolve more gradually and less quickly so you had more time to react to, the, to that fact whereas you get you get less than, less than half a second to react to a dissolving platform in this, and the fact that they've got dissolving platforms so close to the start in both of the levels I've played in this, again that comes across more like a beginner's trap, and I'm really not keen on that kind of thing. Even in, even in games that are considered classics, so as a result, I'm going to give Nebulous on the Spectrum seven out of ten. Really good premise and nice, uh, nice ideas, but to me, it's just let down by some frustrating, spiteful uh, game you know, gameplay aspects that make it more more annoying than I felt it really needed to be. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review, FC Den Hag. Hope to catch hope to catch the rest of you on another review soon. Taxi eighty eight out. <laughs>